Hi, I'm Brent and today I've got a video update on what you need to look for when you're choosing to upgrade your current model WRX. So here we are in 2018, the MY15 WRX that came out with the new shape body um, has been around for some time now. Our R&D car has been a fantastic resource for testing all sorts of stuff and was one of the first that was tuned here in Australia with the uh, direct injection 2 litre twin scroll turbo engine. And you may be looking for ways to improve your car and you're just not sure which way to go. Well, what I'm going to show you today is the um, MRT XB power kit. Now that is stage two of our progress path of improving cars. But just be careful when you're calling stage one, stage two and stage three. It's a very, very generic description that different workshops have different parts and packages. But most workshops actually just come up with a list of parts that they want to sell you, but you may not actually need them in a stage two or stage three kit. So what I want to explain to you is what you actually get and why you need it and what the benefits are. So let's talk about the X8 power kit first. It's the maximum reliable power with no mechanical mods. So what it actually is, is custom tuned with our proven reliability, proven performance. And if you've got a brand new car, it comes with a warranty. And of course, we then guarantee the Subaru warranty. And then we also give you information on the models with and without the six-speed transmission and the CVT. So check out our power kit document on that. You can download on our website at mrttuned.com.au. So then you say, well, I might want more power and performance than that. And of course, everybody's offering you an exhaust system. Well, you don't always have to do an exhaust to get the car to go better, which is why we recommend the XA kit first. But if you want to know what an exhaust system looks like, I'm going to show you that next. Then beyond that, if you've got a car with a six-speed transmission, because at that level, we stop um, the uh, level of upgrades with the CVT because we know at that level of power and performance and torque, you're starting to ask a little bit too much and you're in the sweet spot of the reliability range. But beyond that, you start um, experiencing the risk of damage in the CVT semi-automatic transmission. So if you've got a six-speed uh, WRX, then you can go to what we call our XC kit, which then includes another level of mechanical modifications above that. And be sure to check out the document that we have on our website. So um, you'll notice I haven't spoken about intercoolers. I haven't spoken about modified air intakes. I've spoken about blow off valves. The reason being is, and I'll also touch on rear mufflers in a minute, is all of those things add different features and benefits. We've tested this car, the factory air intake does not form a restriction to the performance level of gaining power out of this car. So why do some workshops offer that? Well, chances are, because people are asking for it, they actually don't add any more power into the car is tuned properly in the first place with the original right parts, such as an exhaust system or a custom tune only. So if you want an air intake, that's fine, but just remember it's awfully loud on this car and it also adds extra cost and complexity because the air intake requires some pretty detailed modifications to the factory ECU tune in the uh, map to make sure that that does then run reliably. But that's okay if you want to fit that and you like the look of a modified air intake and the noise. Same thing with a blow off valve, same thing with a top man intercooler. Now top man intercooler, there are quite a few different range of options and we've tested them all. Again, you can get improvements in power and consistent performance on hot days, but if you're driving your car on a freezing cold night in freezing cold conditions, one run at a time, then the factory intercooler will be fine. And when you compare back to back, there is no net increase in the flow capacity of a factory standing intercooler versus an aftermarket one. The only gains are when you start doing run after run after run, and they start heat soaking, you'll get rid of more heat, or you're running the car in hot conditions in a hot environment, and you need the mechanical ability to get rid of more heat, then yes, you will get benefits from a better quality verticaler or a top man intercooler or any of those other range of options. And of course, then people are saying, well, what about exhaust manifolds? Well, we're talking about twin scroll turbo. I'm yet to see a bolt-on exhaust manifold on the two litre direct injection engine that will give reliable increase in performance for the cost. And again, that is something that you would need to carefully consider. It's the same with the um, riser manifolds or TGV deletes. Again, we've tested those. They're okay to be replaced, but they don't add any net increase in power. Again, if you're making sure you're getting a good reliable tune from a good tuner with good proven experience. So this is what we're now gonna talk about, the exhaust. So let's have a look at the factory standard exhaust system on the current model WRX. Comes out of the turbo here into a catalytic converter with a rear O2 sensor and a front O2 sensor and then bolts up to a flange connection. So let's hold that thought, have a look at the part that we've replaced. Twin scroll turbo that's underslung on this particular model car with the exhaust manifold that feeds the turbo assembly and we then replace it with a three inch. Now inside there is a splitter that keeps the exhaust outlet separate from the uh, wastegate outlet 
Internally, you'll notice we then fit the front O2 sensor and the rear O2 sensor, and these parts then have to be made sure that they fit in the right distance from the turbo, but also most importantly, it's the distance they fit into the exhaust system to measure the exhaust gas flow to give you a reliable result. And this is one of the um, things that we learn when we're tuning cars, being a master tuner with Exutech software and all the R&D that we do, the position and the depth of that sensor and the location actually has an effect on the tune of when then the tuner then starts to make mechanical, oh sorry, not mechanical, but electronic adjustments to the map to then tune that to suit your car. Um, you'll also notice a couple of small things, and I'll get my, my camera and camera in. See that there? That's an exhaust strap that bolts to the original factory exhaust system off the body. That is actually quite vital for the way the engine operates, and you'd be surprised how exhaust um, earth straps all around the engine, when they're eliminated or haven't been fitted correctly, or haven't been put back to do weird changes and have, a, have effect on the engine and the way the system is operating electronically in all sorts of weird ways. Our exhaust system is designed to have that earth strap fitted, but you also notice we fit a new heat shield in place because this is the bottom radiator hose that uh, comes out of the engine and goes uh, into the radiator. And that there, when this is running hot, glows cherry red. If you don't have a heat shield in place, that bottom hose can get damaged and scorched from radiant heat. And I've seen cars come in here that that hose has to be replaced because it's actually physically burnt. You've got to remember it's just rubber. And if you look at the exhaust system factory Subaru, it's covered in heat shields all over the place. And there is that little bracket that originally Subaru manufactured just to take that earth strap to fit the body and connect it to the exhaust system on the engine. So Subaru don't do those things unless there's a good reason for it. So we then process down through here into the second catalytic converter and then we go around the side of the gearbox and you'll notice the bracket here is designed um, from Subaru to bolt up to the back of the transmission and again similar in the design of what we do and remembering this part here goes underneath the sway bar on top of the lower control arm. So you'll notice here on the MRT exhaust system, we intentionally leave a lot more clearance and the exhaust is designed to be able to fit an aftermarket sway bar, which gives you more clearance. Now, some exhaust systems are not designed for aftermarket parts. In fact, I've seen some aftermarket exhaust systems when they're fitted and the suspension goes up and this sway bar rotates, this part of the sway bar then rotates down. And in an extreme situation, I've actually seen them hitting and vibrating against the exhaust. And the driver of the car says, and I've got this really weird vibration that comes out of my car when I go around left and right hand corners, but it varies. Well, chances are the clearance may be the root cause of the problem if you've got an aftermarket exhaust system and you're trying to track down that weird vibration. So, but also you don't want the exhaust too far down because you then end up with the exhaust being even lower than factory standard and you increase the risk of damaging the bottom of the exhaust. And that's one of the things that we pride ourselves on with our exhaust systems are actually genuinely made here in Australia by us. We don't take a Chinese or a Japanese or a Korean made exhaust system or something from America and rebrand it and say it's ours. These are actually made here by us here in Sydney. And the fitment and the quality of the way they fit is just as good, if not better, than a factory standard exhaust system. And the clearance is almost very similar to a factory standard exhaust, even though the physical size is mechanically bigger. And as you'll see here, high flow catalytic converter, as similar to the replacement part from Subaru. And you'll see we also put a bung um, in here as well for the rear O2 sensor. Again, fitted in the right location and different um, model Subarus have different locations for their um, sensors. So this exhaust system is a multi-fit one. We also use it on the Lavorg and things like that. And we go around the back here and you notice this car's got the CVT transmission. Now this bracket here um, bolts up in the identical fashion of the identical way to use the original factory bracket that then bolts up onto the back of the CVT trans. Now then we go into a flexible joint because everything forward of here is mechanically bolted and connected to the engine and transmission. So when all that moves, that moves as one complete unit separate to the what's hanging off the body. And guess what? If you have a look down on the Subaru exhaust system, it also has a flexible joint, although it's obviously a lot smaller than the three inch system that we use. A spring mounted fitment with the locking nuts and similar design to what we use on our exhaust. So this is designed to move and allow that allowance. And again, some aftermarket exhaust systems don't even have a flexible joint at all. We then travel along the back here, again, keeping the exhaust system as tight and as high as possible to give you good ground clearance, particularly if you've got a car that's lowered. And we put a center resonator. Now, that resonator is designed to take the drone out of the car. When you're traveling at freeway speeds around 100 to 110 kilometers an hour, and you're in top gear and the exhaust um, 
um, pulses are slowing down because your engine RPM is low. That's what causes that horrible droning noise that you get on long trips that gives you a headache. The center resonator will um, reduce that drone. And guess what? Subaru also use the center resonator as well to reduce that drone in the center pipe as it progresses down through the back of the exhaust. So then we go around the back with a hanger at the back of the diff into a splitter. Same thing again, our hanger fits in the original factory position. We go around into a splitter and then we go into two separate pipes. Now I've seen systems where people go three inch out here and three inch out the back. It's totally unnecessary because when you add the surface area of those two pipes there, it's mechanically almost identical, if not bigger, than the same surface cross flow um, flowing ability of the three inch exhaust. So don't think that that's a restriction because it's not. But you'll also notice we then bolt up to the original factory rear mufflers and you go, well, why is that? Well, we've tested this exhaust system straight through and we've also tested it with that muffler. And the difference in performance is about one or two kilowatts because these mufflers are actually quite good to start with. They're a good looking muffler. So if you want something that's a bit stealthy, it's not completely obvious that your car is modified or you want something that's not ridiculously loud, the factory standard rear mufflers are quite good. And I ask you to ask yourselves a question, if you're getting an exhaust system supplied and fitted from another supplier, why are they trying to sell you a rear muffler without telling you this? Well, chances are they may not have done the testing. They may not even know the difference because they may not be involved as much as we are with our R&D and the custom tuning ability and the testing on the dyno. But also, that's fine. If you want to go for an aftermarket option and you want something to look a little bit different, that's good and because that gives you the choice of options as well. But from our position point of view, we're trying to keep the XB kit to a minimum cost to give you maximum value for money for your investment. And that's the how way we can deliver it with this performance upgrade. So there you have it. The XB power kit from MRT Performance made and designed here in Australia by us. We're pretty proud of it. And um, the next level beyond that is our XC kit. Make sure you go to mrttuned.com.au Download the power kit document, see all the dyno graphs and all the reasons why we choose what I've just told you in this video. And of course, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. And we'd love to help you with tunes anywhere in Australia through our partner network. Just contact them or contact us and we'll be able to look after you and give you that peace of mind and reliability. But for today, my name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.